So welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Catherine Industries Group. Sort of, um, we'll have a little bit of a product information session here. We've got you know, Sean here from SPB Batteries. He's our supplier of our Invicta Lithium range, and he's got some new things that have come out in the market. They've been out probably about six months, and the Invicta battery's been out for quite some time, and known across our land at this moment in time, being sold by quite a few places. So, Sean, got you here today. What I want to do is probably give some of our listeners a bit of an idea of one of our hybrid, and then we might do another video after this just about the Invicta Lithium, about chargings, DC-DC ratings, what people are doing with inverters and stuff like that. So that's what we're going to talk about today. So let's start off with the hybrid battery, like um, evolutionary, I think, for what we're doing, European cars, every driving cars days, like in your, what did, I think you've got one in your own work. Yeah, right? so I'm running a Pajero Sport. Um, obviously, like a lot of the modern SUVs now, there's not a lot of space to put a dual battery system in. Yes. Yeah. A lot of those kind of vehicles, like myself, it, they're a day tripper. We go to the beach, we, you know, I've got, I've got a young fellow and the missus, we run the fridge. Yes. Um, so for me, a full dual battery system was honestly a little bit overkill yeah. and was gonna be hard to fit. Okay. So the concept of this hybrid is now, I pulled my start battery out, I put the hybrid battery in, I've run my cables to the back, obviously all fused correctly and whatnot. Um, but basically my fridge runs off the start battery. Um, it is a cycle and a start. Yeah. So that, that's doing the job of the whole dual battery yeah. system in one. Um, we've got a few safety protocols in place, of course. Obviously running deep cycle off a start battery, you run the risk of going flat. Yes. Um, so what the Invicta Hybrid will do is it will allow you to use around 90% of the capacity. The BMS will then protect itself and turn off. Okay. You push the little button on top there, restarts the battery, you can still start the car. So you can cycle cycle to your heart's content without risk of getting stuck. So with him saying that, so guys, have a think about how many people are out there these days at the moment looking and going, hey, I need to put a DC to DC charger in. I've got to go and put an AGM battery, which most manufacturers aren't really happy with underneath the bonnet on that side of things. This is going under the bonnet. It's made to go under the bonnet. It's warranted to go under a bonnet if it wants to. And the other conversation is, is for the resto cars that people are out there that are parked in their back shed and stuff like that, got the opportunity to work with that where you still have got that internally in them to look after them. So guys, there's also another series that I'm pretty excited about because I like my four wheel drives and stuff like that, which I'm gonna let this gentleman talk about because he got very passionate. There's a couple of guys out there who've got some unreal videos. I've seen you towing three or four vehicles with this off the winch, which is amazing for the guys there. And don't mind if you wanna talk about them because of what they've done. But guys, this is something new that you're gonna have if you're thinking about doing Cape trips and stuff like that, this is going to be revolutionary for that there because I know the scenario of there's nothing worse being remote and you can't start your car because of a flat battery and maybe one or two brewskis and left the stereo on or something like that. Yes, it does. So let's have a chat about the Hybrid Max. Absolutely. So obviously we have the standard hybrid range, but we have also done a, a different beast called the SNLH Max. So the concept of this Max is it has a massive constant current drawer available. So the standards will run a 200 amp constant current, no problems. You'd run a small inverter off that, no, no worries at all. The Max, you can literally turn your engine off, get the biggest winch you can get and run that thing full noise. That's gonna handle 800 amps continuous current till it's flat. You're actually realistically probably gonna burn the winch out full noise before you turn the battery off. It, it is taking a lot of engineering, yes. um, a lot of BMS work, because obviously a lot of a lot of the holdback with a lot of lithium batteries is the is the management system being able to handle that current. Yes. So yeah, it's it's a totally different beast to this max battery. It's uh, so guys, if you're thinking about this scenario, like unbelievable battery, first of its kind, first of its kind, Absolutely. and you're gonna, I believe the values in it for it. So, um, warranty on something like this, if I can just so people understand. Yeah. What so, at this stage, the entire hybrid range is carrying a three year full replacement warranty. Yes. Um, like we did with the deep cycle, we've started off with a fairly conservative warranty because obviously Aust Australia is a bit of a different climate to what a lot of other countries are. Yes. So, as we get more real world um, sort of testing and, and, and information, yes. We're looking at increasing that warranty. Uh, we're just not sure by how much yet. Yeah. So we've started conservative so at three years. Space yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, this, this well, started. Seven years now, yeah, it started at three. Now seven after enough testing has been done. So, yeah, we definitely know three years is conservative. It's going to handle it no problems. We're yeah. just not sure how how far we're willing yeah. to go with it yeah. yet. We'll we'll see. So guys, think about this. Um, we'll be coming back to you more. One thing you've got to think about is four wheel drives and weight too. We're all about GPMs at the moment. We're thinking about this here, full bars, winches, lights, everything that's happening out there in the marketplace. You're coming through, what are these weighing at now? 10.2 like PM7. Yeah, so, so we're yeah. dropping out from a 30 to 35 like kilo down to 10, which has a lot of weight. If you factor in the dual battery system, traditionally you're actually replacing two batteries that would have been you know, 20 to 30 kilo, 20 to 30 kilo down to one at 10. 
Yeah. Um, so massive, massive weight saving. So guys, if you need that stuff, reach out to us, comment below on that sort of things. Matt, Sean, thanks very much for your time. Always Thank good. You, He's the man that's got all the knowledge into him. He passes it down to me and I give you one tenth of it. So that's what we thought we'd bring him in. So thanks very much. Reach out. Have a good day. See you later. Bye.